Hey friends. Okay, prepare yourselves for the quickest little sewing video I have ever made. <laughs> These dresses were ridiculously simple to make and I didn't end up filming the more boring stuff like finishing my edges or doing the hem. So this is just a super basic overview of how I threw these dresses together. We love a simple project, right? But I hope that the speed and simplicity won't bother you. I thought about not posting this because it is so fast, but I decided to share it anyways, just in the hopes that some of you might still enjoy it. So I hope you'll enjoy watching and I hope you'll enjoy singing the finished dresses because I'm really pleased with them. Now let's get into this very quick little video. Hey everybody, welcome to I am super duper pregnant and none of my clothes fit comfortably. So I'm gonna make myself three dresses super fast, super simple to kind of get me through the rest of this pregnancy. I'm using these thrifted materials that I have that are super light, soft, stretchy, flowy, just perfect for when you really don't want to be wearing anything, but you have to, right? So this video is going to be really quick. This is not a super in-depth tutorial or anything like that. These dresses were ridiculously simple to make. So this is just kind of a very, very basic overview of how I did this. This first material I'm gonna use for a fitted dress, and then these other two, this black and green, I'm gonna use for a more flowy dress. Ignore the blue fabric. I did not have enough of it to actually do anything with it. So this is the dress that I'm using as my guide. I love this dress. It's from Coldwater Creek, I think, and it's flowy, it's comfy, but it's just made out of kind of a, a heavier material. And so I find that in July now, it's a little too warm for summer. I just get really hot wearing it. So I'm gonna make it out of these lighter materials. It's perfect for the bump. It's really flowy, it just hangs nicely. And so all I did, I just took the skirt, lined it up on the fold of my fabric and cut out probably one of the most basic skirts you could possibly cut out. Super simple. And then I took the top of this dress, laid it out, shoulders on the fold and cut out the most basic top you could. <laughs> so so simple you know that's what I'm going for especially having very little time and very little energy to work with at this point we're just going to make some really really simple dresses so then I just took those pieces and cut out the same thing in my black fabric I'm not going to show you guys you know all the footage of me like finishing all my edges and doing the hem and stuff just because I felt like that made the video kind of unnecessarily long and you don't really need to see that anyway since this isn't like a super in-depth tutorial so anyway, here I'm just connecting the front and back of the top part of the dress, right sides together, super simple, just connecting the sides. Again, this fabric is super stretchy, so I didn't need any openings or anything, no buttons or zippers. And then I just took the sides um, of the skirt, the kind of opening there, and connected those right sides together. Then it was just a matter of taking that top of the dress and putting it right sides together with the top of the skirt, connecting those, and those dresses were Pretty much done again not showing you the boring stuff with finishing my edges but that's the gist of how i made those dresses and then this one is a maternity dress which i love i've worn it a lot i think i got it from target but at this point it's just too tight and not very comfortable so i literally just laid it out on my fabric and cut out like a really basic <laughs> tube dress kind of shape and I cut those shoulders on um, the fold again just to keep that really simple. This fabric is really soft and stretchy and forgiving. And then I just connected the sides, right, right sides together. And in a second you'll see I took some elastic and I kind of cut it. Well, I, I measured from about the middle, maybe halfway down my rib cage down to my hips. And cut a piece of elastic about half that length. And then I lined that up with where that was on the dress. And I kind of pulled the elastic so that it would stretch out and then as I sew it and then snap back into place once it was sewn. So you'll see the last dress reveal, that's the rouged effect was from that elastic. Super easy. I mean, it really doesn't get much simpler than this. I hope this isn't annoying how fast this has been, <laughs> but really there just wasn't much to film because these dresses were so ridiculously simple and easy to make. I mean, I, I don't think it gets much simpler than this. So I love how they turned out. They're so comfortable. They're just stretchy and comfy. It doesn't really feel like you're wearing much of anything, which is exactly what I was going for. And I think they turned out really nice. So there's Liam crashing the video. I was like, buddy, you can be in the video, but he was all bashful about it. Little cutie. 
So yeah, I mean, again, doesn't get much simpler than this. I hope you enjoyed just this really simple little overview of how I made these dresses. This rouged one I think turned out really pretty and flattering. I did not show you the back because it is so fitted. I didn't really want to show off my bum like that. I'll probably wear a cardigan or something with it um, when I go out. But yeah, here they are. Super simple maternity dresses. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was nice just hanging out for a few minutes here while I put these together. So thanks for being here guys and I will see you next time.